Hello there. Here I am once again in the new Outlook. I've had it for a while, so much so that the toggle has gone. So I'm stuck with it now. But I have got the <coughs> previous version on my laptop should I need it, which is very handy. Anyhow, what's this video all about? Well, if you've been following me for a while or you're subscribe to my newsletter, you'll know that I was bemoaning the lack of search folders in this version of Outlook. Now, a search folder, just to refresh your memory, is a folder or a kind of view that allows you to create a view or a folder to contain all the email that matches a particular criteria. That might be from a certain person, it might be to and from a certain person, etc. And this was missing. Now, it's one of those things that I found quite useful and I think that any assistant will find quite useful because often we want to get to emails from or to a particular person. So I started having a look around the new Outlook to see where I could find it. And here we have Add Favourite. Now up to today, when you clicked Add Favourite, not a lot happened, but now it's dropping down a list of different things that I can do. So Paul Sandler, who is my graphic designer at Design Store, he's done both of my brands, both Tomorrow's VA and MS Office Maestro. He is great and we have a lot of back and forth. So if I add Paul Sandler to this list and then click on Paul Sandler, it doesn't do anything straight away. It takes a moment to refresh. But if I come back, after a few minutes, we will see all the email to and from Paul. I'm going to add another favorite here. I'm going to add um, Zeta. Now, Zeta is my VA, and this is a folder this time. So when I click on the Zeta folder, it is a shortcut effectively to the Zeta folder. So it's got everything between us in here. And if I come back to Paul now, you'll see it's taken a few minutes to refresh and we've got all of the backwards and forwards between us. So if we come to add to favorites, we could even choose um, a particular category of things as well. I don't have very much in that category, but here is an email or it's actually a task that um, was flagged into the admin category. So if you use categories in your emails, like in your calendar, you can use a category to find everybody that relates to that category. To remove it, you simply right click and you move down and you just remove them and you can just remove them. Now it creates a folder and you wouldn't want to empty that folder. So if I start to type in here, um, let me look for executive. I can look at the executive vice chair for IMA Global, IMA being the institution that I've done some training for, and there I've got all the emails from there. So I hope you found that useful. I'm just going to remove that and I'm going to stop recording. Remember to hit subscribe and subscribe to the channel so that you get all of my videos when they're posted. And I'm Shelley Fischel the MS Office Maestro.